Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today's video, I'm going to the World Cup qualifier between Taiwan and Oman. This is the last qualifying home game. They'll have one more against Malaysia after this, but that's away and I'm not going. All my holidays are planned for. So, the train is busy, but that's because people are going home from work. I don't think many people here will actually give a shit about the match. Aye, so I'm on the train. I bought myself some uh, a little box of sushi, but you can't eat on the M on the metro here. You get massive fine if you eat. So I'm just gonna eat it and drink me water outside the stadium. Got two bottles of water and a sushi. So I'll see you outside the stadium. See you in a bit. Great. Right, I just got from the MRT exit here. This is Taipei Arena Station. It's an epic walk from here to get into the stadium, but it started raining again. So I'm gonna scram my sushi, sushi here. I'll give you a look at it now. The sushi was $150. So that's my sushi there. It's all salmon, different types. And uh, I'm it's a bit dark because I'm hiding under a bridge. So I don't get soaking wet. So I, that's my sushi. We'll quickly scram that now. I've got about 20 minutes and they normally take you an hour to get you in the stadium. So let's see how it goes. Let's scram that. That's the sushi without the wasabi and the soy sauce on. But I do have wasabi and soy sauce in the bag. I'll give you a look. There you go. Soy sauce, wasabi, whap that on. There you go. I whap the soy sauce all over. Just hide the wasabi in there because I don't have much time. Just rushed it. Usually I would do it a bit better than that, like, but needs must. All right, let's see what this is like. All right, first bit. bit much wasabi mm. it's nice that let's try a different type try one of these ones a little dab of wasabi a little bit this time mm. not exactly what you think is football food back home but I love a bit of sushi so I'm gonna scram this quickly rush around the stadium I'll see you at the entrance street because I haven't got much time left Great. That's the sushi destroyed. Now I'm walking around to the stadium. I come this way, which is a way I, which is a way I wouldn't normally come. But I hope you can get around this way because the other side would take forever. Looks like you might be able to. I'll give you a look. If you look at the tree line, you can see the roof of the stadium on the right hand side. It looks like there might be an entrance there, so I'll have to scrunch. I'll have to drink a bit of my other uh, drink because I don't think you can fit a full bottle in one of the plastic cups. There's me, look. Come on, Taiwan. Now I've got a bit of, of a dilemma. I'm thinking, should I go that way? Or should I just pull up these stairs and go in that entrance? I think plodding up those stairs and going in that entrance will be better because the lads I sit with, they're in this stand behind this goal here. So I'll plod up them stairs. Absolutely amazing. I'm inside, no checks whatsoever, none at all. Got my bottle in my bag and everything. That's a first. I'm only going to look at the tops, the footy tops. I quite think I want one, but they're really skinny fit this time round. So I'm unsure, because I'm, I'm not a skinny fit lad, am I? We'll have a look anyway. Get a canny view of the stadium from here, look. This side's normally dead as a doornail. That side's the main stand with the main entrance. And I'm gonna sit with that little group of reggies there. I asked my friend, who you can hear banging the drum, if they're definitely gonna sit behind the goal because it's been pissing down for about four days solid, non-stop. And he says, oh, I was sitting behind the goal now cause the weather app says it's gonna stop raining. It has stopped raining, but the sky is miserable, man. Yeah, All right, pal. Yes. How, where do you get these? XL, I wanna have XL, a look. XL, this, this side, XL. Mine's 3X, 3L. Uh, maybe five or six. There you go, look. Oh, they do look tiny, man. 
absolutely tiny man what size is that that's 2l well, that too well look at it midget size i decided to buy a top you couldn't try them on i just measured it against us this is 6l uh the tiny the tiny so i'm gonna try it on see how it looks the national anthems are starting now but i was faffing around getting the top it's absolutely pissing it down all the radgies are still in this end they've all got rain jackets i should have bought one of my rain jackets from me scooter let's see how long i last in here i don't think i'll last very long in here it's absolutely pissing it you guys all have rain jackets man you said it wasn't gonna rain bollocks ah. whatever I'm not sure how long I'll last standing in the rain like if it doesn't stop I'm gonna be drenched just end up with a flu or something half time maybe I can get a uh, rain jacket or something Thank God the bloody rain stopped. Dry up now.
thought my attacker was just charging through, he was going to kick it out. The puddle kept the ball in. Oh man and puddle, team puddle. I tell you what, people might not like us saying this man, but teams from the Middle East are well annoying. Every tackle, the whinge and bitch and moan. They dive all out of the shop, they scream at the ref all the time, they think the Man United man. Surrounding the ref and that, totally shite. We got a free kick now because of it. Ready? It's like Barry and all over again. Anyone knows what happened to Barry and it's the best Taiwan result ever. We're seeing it in Newcastle, didn't we? The season Newcastle got four. Teams didn't like that one, were aggressive. Wondering why there's no away fans at the other side. Oh man, have I already qualified for the next round? And I don't think they get a big away following anyway, unless it's one of the Middle East region. And then also, it probably cost them a thousand five hundred pound to fly here from Oh man. That's why there's no one in the away end. Oh man, just scored from a corner. Not one chair in the whole stadium. I didn't expect it, it was a uh, sloppy goal. Missed it again from the king of missing goals. <coughs> time now and I want to lose them 1-0 but it's been a good game this has been the best match so far in the uh, qualifiers I don't know why they haven't called up these players before now they should have but I don't know why half time down to the bog glad I bought me top before the game started look at this busy as shit good job I'll tell you the price new anyway 
All right, so there's the price there. 1,680 in that is how the home top looks. That's the one I bought because I look shit in white. And there's the white one there. Kitty's white one. We're trying to promote all the local teams here. Look, this is Leopard Cat. No, no, sorry. This is Athletic Club Taipei. And this one over here. This one is called Taiwan Leopard Cat Football Club. We've got a little poster up there, look. Leopard Cat. And this one is called Vikings. Alright. This one is run by some foreign guy. I don't, I don't know who he is. I've never met him before. It's good. They're trying to promote the local teams here, but they need do a lot more to make the local league better than what they do it takes time though doesn't it it's a long it's a long process to make a league like professional and shit so i don't know how they're going to do it because it's like it's like what the question about what comes first the the egg or the chicken you know what i mean that's that's the problem they've got how do they make it better do they invest in it and hope people come or do they try and make people come and then invest in it? It's hard, it's hard to know what to do really. So I'm happy I ate my sushi because I don't think there's any food down here. I haven't seen any food yet. What's this? Cerebral palsy charity. Hi. Haven't seen any food yet. the toilet and a man have scored again look 3-0 now can you view from here so I went to the toilet 
missed the goal and they announced the attendance 5,000 and something 5,070, 703 I best get back round because trust me, they want to go into the toilet when the game gets exciting If you can understand Chinese all the foul language is coming out now they're pretty angry Well, everything's a bit subdued now. 3 0 down. Last game. Uh, realistically, then Taiwan aren't going to qualify for anything anyway. So, but it would be nice to see them score some goals. Only 5,000 here. If the, if the attack instead of sitting back all the time. I know they're not as good as other teams, but if they just went at them and went for it like maniacs, scored some goals, more people would show up. It would be better for everyone involved. So I fix up you. What can you do? I think this end behind the goal is actually more people in than usual. I know it doesn't look like many, but I think there's more than usual. But you never know, like so whatever, five thousand. It's to be expected. Bravo, 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 I don't know what they can do to make it better. I just checked on so There's only a minute left And as Taiwan gets fouled again Knee free kick
kids at the bottom, the players actually coach them. That's it from me. Hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you next time. Bye. So, on to the Asian Cup qualifiers. We'll do it all again. See you later. <laughs>